Hello everyone and thank you all so much for joining us today on this Get On Track with One Page CRM's Android mobile app. My name is Larry from the customer success team here at One Page. And uh, by the way, I'm gonna leave you my email address in there, LarryC at onepagecrm.com in case you wanna contact me after today's presentation. If you have any further questions, I'll be happy to get in touch with you. Now, the main reason why we decided to host this type of training is because we know that over 50% of our users are actively engaging in using our mobile app. So we just want to share those best practices with you. We know how important it is for you to keep your contacts, information, and your sales information updated on the go. So I'm gonna show you how to get the best out of the mobile app. So I'm gonna go through a complete live demo and I'm gonna show you how you can make the best use of the next action process, how you can collaborate with your team on the go, that means how you can assign actions, how you can notify as well other team members on the go. I wanna let you know how you can accelerate your user adoption, that means how you can use the main um, features in the mobile app, which are, which are available. So show you how to do that. And that's gonna help you as well to enhance your time management. I have a few tips to show you when it comes to using the mobile app. Good, before I just uh, jump right into that, just wanted to share quickly with you some of the great feedback that we get from our you know, current customers using the mobile app. So we have Mr. Otto Jones here, that is someone who's using one page to run his sales team. And the mobile app, it's accessible from phone, phone, tablet, and laptop. So this is a real time synchronization, basically important to mention that if you're doing changes on the main mobile app, all of them will be updated in real time in the same way to the main desktop application. Pretty good. Now, finally, we have Mr. Nick Hoskins here. Nick Hoskins telling us that he has tried several CRMs. One page works the best for him. Once again, laptop, tablet, and phone connected all at once. There we go. Now, just let me uh, jump right into the uh, application that we use. It's an uh, online simulator that we use to bring the one page CRM mobile lab to you. So let me show you. Okay, there we go. So once you have installed the application in your phone from the Play Store and once you log it into it, this is the way it looks like. So if you're logging in for the very first time, just go. So I have my action stream here, which is the main focus once again, next actions. So I'm gonna access to my uh, contact card mailing here. So I see the next action that is associated. So you can of course mark your actions as complete then you can simply put in another next action. So I'm gonna say this is uh, maybe same quotation. Then different features in here, not only apply the date, but also a date and time. Date and time is something that comes really handy as you are enabled to manage your um, notifications for the mobile app in, in, in your phone. And this will trigger an in-app notification at this specific time if you put a next action for date and time really useful. There we go. Now you also have the option to add a cute action to work with your cute actions. So you would simply come in here, click on this little plus, plus icon, and then add action, which will be a cute action. And on top of that, you have access to your saved actions. So if you want to apply one of your saved actions, you have access to those ones in here. So maybe this is second call, then hit save. And that's how you can apply good actions for yourself. Now, one little extra feature that we have here is the option for you to uh, delete this cute action. So you can simply press and hold on it, and then swipe right or left, and you can delete the next action. Alrighty, now finally, if you wanna assign an next action to one of your colleagues, you come here once again to add action, and then you assign this to your colleague, uh, Karen in here. Once again, you have access to your saved action. So I'm gonna say that maybe this is uh, first email that I need to send and then click on save. Your colleague could be notified about this next action that is being associated. Perfect, so that's how you can manage next actions on the mobile app. Now, um, when it comes to not uh, to updating your calls and to updating your call notes, this is uh, something that we recommend you to use. Uh, now maybe you're on the road, you're admitting Carmel, you have an on-site meeting with Carmel, so you will come in here and you will add a call, so you're just updating the information after you met 
this contact. There we go. And maybe you need to notify other team members about what happened because Carmel Bay might be one of those VIP contacts. Then you can simply use the add function and notify Karen about what happened. Then you can always, uh, maybe I'm just going to say here, uh, spend 30 minutes with Carmel. And here you have applied our next action. So we would also recommend you to manage your conversation results, always have an on-site meeting, meeting or you know maybe an appointment one that you can apply easily here and then hit on save. There we go. Now if you scroll all the way down in your contact page, then you will see up to the three latest calls in you know notes, call notes that you have saved for your contacts. There we go. Now, two little extra features that I wanted to share with you about notes and calls are the following. So the first one, once you saved the note or call, you can access to it, and then you can attach a file or capture an image from your phone, and that way just have uh, the information at the end of the glance. It's not gonna allow me as this is an online simulator, but you will have access to your main um, you know, to your ma the main information and files that you have in your phone. So that is the first tip that I wanted to share with you. And the second one, the second tip that I wanted to show you is that when you're adding notes to your contacts, when you're adding call notes, then you have a little extra feature. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like in real life. Okay, there we have it. So when you're applying notes, actually this doesn't allow me in the simulator, but I wanted to show you what it looks like. So you have access to your microphone here and to uh, recording your own voice to put in a message. This is a complete live saver. It's something that some users, you know, find really helpful and allow you to easily quick apply notes and you know, when you're maybe on the road and you maybe wanna save some time when you're putting notes, you will find this really beneficial. So now let me go back to the mobile app. Okay, there we are once again. So once again, this uh, is the option to apply notes. I hope you really uh, find it helpful. Perfect. Now let me go back to my action stream. Um, now, once you're working with your contacts, if you wanna update the information, you would simply need to press and hold and swipe down. And that's how you can refresh your action stream so you can you know, uh, you know, see the changes that you have applied for your contacts. There we go. Already, now I wanna to touch base on the next the most important aspect, which is basically sales, our deals, how you can manage your deals in one page of CRM. As you can see, there's a little pipeline icon associated with some contacts that indicates that you have a deal associated with them. I wanna access to Cardinal here, and I'm gonna apply a deal for Cardinal from scratch. So you can simply come in here and then add deal so i'm gonna say that this is a ceo training here you can put in the amount you can put in the cost you can apply different type of deals with commissions based rates as well as multi-month deals and you can apply a spectacle close deals, deal stage notes and you have access to your deal custom fields. Uh, there we go. So that's how you can easily apply a deal. If you scroll down here to the contact profile, then you will see the deals associated to this contact. There we go. Now going back, now let's dive right into the pipeline. So the pipeline is once again, the place where you get an overview of all of your existing deals in there. Uh, just a little um, aspect that we implemented that we find it really helpful is this quick search deals. So you can put in the deal name or part of it and then our system will find all deals with this name as well. So it's an easy way for you to search your deals from within the pipeline. In addition to that, we have this quick little edit option. So this comes handy maybe at the end of the week. Maybe if you, did get it, if you didn't get to complete one of your deals, you can change the expected close date by a week. There we go. In the same way, you can manage your deal stages and update in an easy way. Finally, you have the option to use filters. So you can filter by each specific deal stage. Maybe you won, lost deals, team members saved filters in your tax as well. And of course you can access your deals itself. You can always modify the information for your deals, delete it, edit, and you can also attach, um, you know, files, capture images, or add a note to your deals. There we go, perfect. So that's basically everything from the pipeline.
Now going back to the action stream, just gonna refresh. Um, I wanna show you how you can add context to uh, the model lab. So two different ways, one of them is by manually adding a contact here. Then once again, keep in mind you need a fur, uh, you need a last name or a company name to add a contact to the system. So I'm just gonna say this contact in here, which is myself, it's from one page CRM. You can manage the organization fields as well if you wish. Once you click on save, it's gonna prompt me to the next action. So let me just follow up after trade show. So maybe you're on the road, you're in a trade show, and then you met Larry there and you just need to manually add the contact in an easy way. There we go. You can add the contact information. And then if you scroll down, you will see the company information as well. And talking about the company information and what we call the company view or organization view, you simply need to click on the organization here. And then you have access to the organization fields as well. You have access to all of the deals for the organization and you have access to the context within this company. So two additional aspects that you can see here in the mobile app as well. So the first one is uh, linked context. So you have access to um, linking contacts from multiple companies. Um, so this is an easy way that when you're accessing to the organization and the context within an organization, you can link contacts from different companies. So you would simply need to click in here and then you will see an option to link a contact. So you would simply need to use an easy search. So you can simply type the uh, unit contact name and our system will show you which contacts have this name from which companies. So you can say that, okay, I wanna just link John Rualta from this company here. And there we go. Now this content has been linked and you can see uh, where the contact basically is coming from. There we go. So that's the first feature. The second one that might be helpful when you're adding context to an existing company is what we call the clone contact feature. So you go to one of the contacts from your existing company, you press and call on it, and then you will see this clone contact option. So this clone contact option uh, basically uh, allows you to easily uh, carry over the existing fields for the contact and the company, and you're left with uh, first last name and the email address, which we know might change with uh, from contact to contact. So maybe this is Steve, gmail.com here. And then you can just simply um, save the contact. Ah, there we go. Perfect, so save the contact. So clone a contact and link to contact might really help you out. Perfect, so coming back in here, so I just save the contact manually. Oh, I save the contact manually here. There we go. And then the second option to add contacts is uh, directly from your address book. So you can import contacts from there. You can click on here, allow one page of CRM to access your contacts in here. Then I'm just gonna have an example. There we go. This is one of the, those dummy contacts that I have, but you can simply replace the information in there. And that's how you can, uh, you know, just put in contacts um, from your address book. Uh, just look for the last name. There we go. Start in here. There we go. Uh, then save, and basically you will have the information at a glance. You prompt to the next action again. So maybe just put in a saved actions in here. First call. And there we go. Perfect, so that's how you can also input contacts directly from, from your address uh, book. There we go. So that's how you can easily uh, add contacts and import contacts using the um, model lab. Now, when it comes to uh, contacts and searching your contacts, once again, you have an easy search, so you can easily search your contacts based on first, last name, phone number, email address, uh, the same as you can do it in, in the main desktop application. You have access to your contacts view in the same way. And you can also use filters. So filters comes really handy. So let's say that you're planning one of those cell strip to one specific location. So we recommend you that before you leave home, you can just create a, a, a filter 
from within the main desktop application. So if you know that maybe you're gonna be around this location, you can create a folder based on zip code, which is this one in this case. And then once you have saved it in creating the main desktop application, it is going to reflect in mobile. So you can you know, easily uh, you know, filter by this one. So I can see which next actions I have for these contacts in this particular location. And just, you know, just keep updating your data um, with with these filters, which are a great option. So you know, maybe you finish up earlier with one of these contacts, you can just pull over and keep updating the information for your contacts in that specific location. There we go. Finally, let me go here to this mode option to show you something that, that can help you as well. So the first one is settings. On your main settings, you can control your notifications. Once again, ideally you want them on. So you can control which type of notifications are being triggered from within the mobile app. You can also use this option to hide contacts without actions in the action stream. So if you don't want any more contacts, but the ones you have actions with, so you can just keep the focus on those ones, then you can also turn this option on. Uh, moving up with the speed dialer, which is one that we really, really recommend you use. So you know that it might be important, maybe if you're on the road, if you're, you know, planning to make a sales trip and maybe, maybe you want an easy way to call your contacts or those contacts that you, you, you're planning to, uh, to be visiting. So when it comes to the speed dialer, the speed dialer is, is a separate application that we have available. And once we install this speed dialer, this is what it looks like. So if you're doing one of those in cell strip, then keep in mind that for the contact to be here, you need to have a next action associated for contact. Um, you need to have a phone number for contact and the contact has to be a star. It has to be one of your star contacts. Now, once you do that, then you can access to the contacts that you have in there and you can call them in an easy way. You click on the phone number, allow one page, and you can easily call the contact. And once you finish the call, it's gonna prompt you to add call results. So you can leave notes and a call result associated to what happened with that contact. Okay, so made Adrian for 20 minutes maybe. Just gonna put that in there. And that's an easy way for you to call your contacts in an easy way by using our speed dialer. We really recommend you to give it a try. Now, let me go back to the main mobile app. Okay, good, now finishing up here with some of the options. So you have access to our support and contact as page. So if you wanna get support, you can get our contact as page in here. You can always drop us an email in that way. You can uh, access to our YouTube channel and video tutorials that we have available as well as our terms of service and our privacy uh, policies. Now going back, so just to let you know, customer service is something that we take really seriously. So that's why we collect, the more feedback that we collect, the more, uh, you know, implementations and, uh, you know, the more we improve with our mobile apps. So we're constantly getting really good feedback and our development team are constantly working and doing updates on the mobile app. So you can always uh, share one page at CRM with other friends and family. And if you want to give us some feedback, you can always and give us a rate on Google Play in the same way. There we go. Okay, pretty good. So I think that's uh, all I have for you at the moment. I really hope you have been helpful. I wanna thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to be here with me in today's session. If you have any further questions, feel free to get back in touch and we'll look forward to working with you. Thank you all so much. Bye now.